So the spoilers for Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 263 have come out, and now the break is officially over. We are seeing the spoilers for Chapter 263 after 28 days, where the fight between Gojo and Sukuna continues. Here Gojo means Yuta, who is in Gojo's body. However, this chapter compared to Chapter 262 is only 13 pages long. You can also call it Part 2 of the official Chapter 262, where the fight between Gojo and Sukuna continues. Well, in this chapter, Sukuna is shown getting a bit beaten up because Yuta is performing very well in Gojo's body. So without further delay, let's move on to the spoilers for Chapter 263. Chapter 263 starts exactly where Chapter 262 ended, where Rika is fully manifested and crying while holding Yuta's body. Meanwhile, Sukuna and Gojo are engaged in close combat. Yuta cannot use any other curse techniques apart from Gojo's. In fact, Yuta notices that Sukuna's left arm is completely severed, which means he can't use the cutting slash anymore. The same move he used to bypass Infinity, Yuta has realized that Sukuna can't use the cutting slash, so his only option to bypass Infinity is domain amplification. Taking advantage of this, Yuta grabs Sukuna and hits him hard in the stomach. However, Yuta is having some trouble, because Gojo's body is much taller than Yuta's, which means Yuta is struggling with the long legs. Yuta realizes that he can't fully master Gojo's limitless technique with just one body swap. He also explains why the six eyes are so important for using limitless. In fact, Yuta remembers when Gojo used to say, I am the strongest, and why he said it with such confidence. Sukuna realizes that Yuta is still a bit inexperienced in using Gojo's curse technique. Sukuna asks, do you really think you can land a punch on me? And then Sukuna lands a punch on Yuta and says, you think you have a time for daydream? Then Sukuna says Kanjaku already informed him about Yuta's curse technique. He thinks the requirement to copy is most likely Rika consuming a body or a part of body. Sukuna notices that Rika is not around, meaning Yuta cannot copy any other curse techniques at this moment, but then realizes that Yuta can only copy and use limitless at that moment. Sukuna wonders how long Yuta can maintain the copy technique. Will he able to maintain that form of Gojo once Kenjaku's technique is finished? Now we know that Yuta can use any copy technique for five minutes, and he can only do this when Rika is fully manifested. And a fully manifested Rika can last for only five minutes. So like us, Sukuna is also thinking that if Kenjaku's curse technique ends, will Yuta leave Gojo's body? And if the five minute limit ends, will Yuta still be in Gojo's body? Has Yuta even thought about this? Now look, Sukuna was thinking all of this and then he predicts what Yuta's next move will be. And guess what? He predicts it absolutely accurately. Sukuna thinks that this fishy move will be Yuta's last fight, meaning that Yuta himself will die after this. According to Sukuna, if Yuta knows, he will die. What technique will Yuta use then? Sukuna thinks that Yuta might use some self-destruction technique, and this is the technique that comes from mixing red and blue. Before this, a small flashback is shown where Yuta has returned after using the soul special technique. Gojo says, you are still quite inconsistent in using my curse technique. But Maki says, Gojo is only saying this because he is trying to be a bit strict. Otherwise, you performed very well. After that, Yuta uses Gojo's purple hollow. Now Yuta is about to use purple hollow, but Sukuna intervenes and grabs Yuta's hand. Sukuna decides that he will not let Yuta use purple hollow. Yuta moves forward thinking to himself, Sukuna, I understand you won't let me use hollow purple, but this simple plan will work. And saying this, Yuta throws a tape recorder, and it starts playing a voice in English and Spanish. Everyone freezes there. Sukuna notices that this is Inuma's voice. Inuma freezes Sukuna and releases Yuta. Now Yuta is using purple hollow and is ready to hit Sukuna with it. And with this cliffhanger, the spoilers for chapter 263 end here. Well, after the arrival of Inuma, Sukuna is in a very difficult situation, and if this purple hollow hits, Sukuna will definitely be severely damaged. So technically, this chapter was very interesting, but it was definitely part of chapter 262. So let me know in the comments how you liked the spoilers of this chapter. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you with another video like this one.